All right, welcome to a special Dash of Life on a Monday night. Uh, a very special one indeed. Tonight we're going to be talking about something probably near and dear to most of our hearts, uh, something that uh, has been in the news recently, uh, and some of us have a lot of hard and emotional feelings about this. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about Afghanistan. About a week ago, Tyshawn called me up or messaged me and said that he wanted to do a show about Afghanistan. So I was more than willing to uh, bring uh, and do this. So I'm going to bring him on here in just a second, and then we'll get started. So I hope everybody uh, keeps this in mind. This is not... Hey, 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 this is not a political bashing. This is not a spew your hatred. Uh, but Ty, like I said, Tyshawn wanted to talk about this, so I'm going to let him have the floor. But what, what do you say we have a moment of silence for the, uh, the, the, the Marines and, and soldier and sailor that lost their lives? All right. All right, thank you. So you brought this up. Um, I don't know where you want to go with it, but I, I, I'm i going to let you have the floor for a little bit, and we'll just go from there. Um, generally, we want to go with – I really wanted to go with talking about the logistics. I know it's dark in here, but backlight <laughs> shines really bright, and it looks – I look holy, but which I'm not. But, um, you know, I'm kind of working with some kind of lighting issues here. But um, <laughs> I wanted to talk about the logistics about um, the past two weeks. Um, and then um, really talk to something that was really in my heart and probably in your heart, which I will say definitely is in your heart and definitely in anybody else's heart. Um, logistically, and you can pitch into this, um, we've been in this war for 20 years. That is like most of my daughter's lives. And my oldest is 20. We're coming up on a 20 year anniversary. My youngest is yeah. uh, 16, going on 17. Every day for 20 years, we've been um, hearing about Afghanistan, Iraq, Iraq, Afghanistan, push, push, push. Um, logistically, I would say when we first went in there, we had a plan of getting out for years. Um, mm -hmm. With the elements that are happening today, Unfortunately, um, we're leaving politics out of this situation. Um, logistically, people are saying it was it was a failed attempt of leaving. Um, it's not. It's definitely not. Um, the issue is we can only do exactly what we need to do with the resources we have to do with um, do it with. You was there on my first deployment, combat deployment, which was Iraq. Um, Iraq, not only we was there to do a job, but we was also there to train the next generation of guys, which was the Iraqi authorities. Um, same thing is with um, Afghanistan. Both places were similar, but Iraq was different from Afghanistan. I don't know if you've ever been to Afghanistan. I never have. Always wanted to go. Um, for some yeah. strange re reason, you know, how combat veterans are. Um, <laughs> but I never gotten experience that, but I knew it was a different place, different atmosphere, different situation. Um, logistically, we, in Iraq, we had a drawdown period where we just going to train these guys, leave them um, resources, aka vehicles, guns. Um, but the main thing was training and to phase ourselves out of that. What yeah. happened with that? We did that. And then we saw yeah. a rise in ISIS. A rise in ISIS was combated by the Iraqi authorities because they had the will to fight. Now we're switching over to Afghanistan. Afghanistan, we are seeing they didn't have the real will to fight. The majority, I will say in the majority, yeah. not all of them, but the majority didn't have the will to fight, which means they opened the door, they backed away, everything was overrun like that. 
So yeah. they call it a, what is a, a snap food or whatever the case may be. No, it's not. Um, to all my veteran friends um, and people I haven't met before or who's watching here, we might have mutual friends, me and you, of course, but there's individuals that you've been um, getting involved with and been friends with that I don't know and vice versa. Yeah. I know people that you don't even know. Um, small yeah. world, we know each um, a similar person that didn't know that we were linked together, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But um, with this situation, I want to tell everybody that you done your job. You done it well. Our main mission was a success. Our secondary missions, hit and miss, but our main mission, which was the capture or kill of Osama bin Laden, the person who was responsible for September 11th, was brought to justice. So, I, yeah, I, I think, and, and you're 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 spot on. I I think, I think a lot of it, it may, may this is me again. People, uh, the audience watching, this is opinionated, uh, speculation. I don't know the, the whole meaning behind it. Um, I think a lot, of, for, for, at least for me, it's, it's, I'm not in the know anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in the know. I don't know exactly what the plan, the, the plan we, we, we hear, we hear what the news and what Facebook and, and all these media outlets tell us. That's what we hear. Um, did I feel like, I'm going to be honest. I felt at first, um, that I felt at first that what we did over there kind of went sour. Like I felt like whatever, everything that we did was for not, I don't know. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know what the no is. I, I know how we did it in Iraq because we were in, we knew what the drawdown was. Yeah. We, we knew here was our plan. Here was our timeline. Boom, 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 boom. I was in Afghanistan. I was at Bagram. I know that I know how the people operate. I was outside the wire. I was I, I talked to the people and and there is a difference. I, I agree. There's a difference between the Iraqi people and the Afghanistan people. Um, I know that they don't relied a lot on us. Um, yeah. Some people can back me up. Um, they relied a lot more. The Iraqi people relied on us, and the ones that we trained up were were. Uh, I won't say some of the best in the world, but they weren't, they weren't horrible at their job. Yeah. We had to train a lot of the IPs and, and, and things like that. So I get it. I think, and I can't speak for everybody. I know what I'm, uh, and I know what I'm speaking for me. I think it, again, it was not in the know. We, I, we didn't know how this drawdown was going to go. Yeah. We didn't know what, we knew there was a plan. We knew there was, uh, we knew that they were going to get out. We, and, and I don't think anybody in watching or in the world, has any complaints that we got out. I don't think anybody's upset that we got yeah. out. I think they feel, I can't, again, I'm, I'm, I, I, I can't say they feel. I think I felt that some, some things were a little messed up. Ross, I wish I could. I can only hold two people at this time. I'll bring you on in, in, in a little bit if I can. <laughs> um, but I can only hold two people, or myself and one person. But I'll, I'll try to get to you here in just a second, Ross. Um, I think for me, and again, and this is just me, and 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 I'm 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 glad that we're out of there. Yeah. Um. I I just I feel some of the things probably were mishandled. In in, in certain aspects. Yeah. Um. Again, I'm not in the know. Yeah. I am. Um. I am glad we're out of there. We the last I believe the last plane. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, 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 I think it's the fact that many of us who was over here mainly don't know what was the plan or the timeline, uh, many of us who are out, of course, we're not going to know OPSEC and all that other good stuff. Um, but um, I think that we thought that the Iraqi, um, um, Iraqi, um, Afghanistan um, government and the authorities, aka the people that were supposed to be the security, to secure it, their own country was going to just step in and keep it secure. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. Um, of course, um, just like you, I was glued on to the TV, like what's going on, this, this, and that. Um, the bad thing about being glued to the TV is that you're relying on these news networks. 
and these news networks are really giving you the shock and awe of the situation without actually putting the facts on. Like um, we said, Denzel Washington said before, um, these news media want to just get the information out, regardless if it's correct or if it's whatever. They just want to be first. And the same thing with Twitter, the same thing with any social media accounts. All these um, people are just throwing stuff out there without any information, and it's affecting people. And it's mainly That's affecting cool. because of the situation. It's mainly affecting those veterans, um, those who have served or lost somebody or know somebody that they lost within that whole situation. And I'll get into that psychology of that situation, um, which is um, what do you call it a little bit later. But um, <laughs> the, um, the whole situation was we thought that they would step in and keep the Taliban in bay. As we were pulling off, yes, we left people behind, but those people that were being left behind were our contractors, our, our embassies, our ambassadors to the embassies, all of those people who were willing to stay and do a job. And when we left, of course, excuse the language, but all hell broke loose. And yeah. when all hell broke loose, we had to turn around, make a U-turn, turn around and secure the site and get everybody out of there. Because you know that um, terrorism is going to start snatching, grabbing people, and then it becomes uh, propaganda stuff, all this other stuff. We learned that in one pre-deployments and, and um, air-based ground defense and all this other stuff that we we went to school for and um other branches have done it too but my beginning focus of this whole conversation is to tell my brothers and sisters and any other pronouns at arms um that you guys have done your job y'all done it well we accomplished the main mission yes there were secondary missions but you you did not fail at all Absolutely, regardless of what yeah, social we... media says, regardless of what the news say, what, regardless of these stand-in experts that they bring in for to talk about it, mostly those people are never been on a ground, um, a ground level like we have, um, but they are re ready to talk about it because they know like pen and paper, computer and chalkboard logistics, not in a personal like we see like me and you we was in buka we saw a certified terrorist right right face to face um and other people have done that too um when i was canine walk the streets yeah. anything could have blown up i saw it face to face ground level but i just try to get these guys to realize that you've done your mission logistically we've done our mission we've done it successfully it's time for us to sit this one out I agree. Absolutely. Um, I mean, and you, well said. I mean, I, I'm, I think you took a lot of the words uh, right out of, right out of my mouth. I mean, I couldn't have said it better. Um, I agree. We, we, I think, and other, and other things, like you said, with the news, I think and, and other things that upset, again, this is just me. Yeah. I don't like, I, I I don't like people talking what they don't know about, I guess, yeah. um, making the speculations of this, this, this is, this person's at fault. This person's at yeah. fault because, uh, this is what I heard on the news, or this is what some meme told me on Facebook yeah. or Twitter. This is how I'm supposed to feel. Excuse me. I'm getting choked up a little. Um, but I don't, I, I see, I see every day, and even my wife has told me to <laughs> to break away from the media, break away from the things, because it just irritates me when somebody says it's this person's fault. Yeah. Um, it's not. It, it, I don't. Again, we're not in the know, but don't talk on something that you don't know about that these people have dealt with, and then turn around and tell them they're wrong if they if they put their their opinion on it. yeah if they if they if, if they're going to feel a certain way all of us are yeah uh thank you yeah matt matthew campbell's on yes we yes we did absolutely 100 we did our jobs to the best of our ability yeah uh and and i believe that uh, uh lindy said well uh well a job well done with what you just said as well and i agree yeah. um the I, I i just 
and 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 I can't and I think it my wife says it's a control thing for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it probably and, and it probably is I can't control what everybody thinks and I can't control what the people are saying on on the news yeah. and um and what they're saying on um uh uh um, social media and the, all that uh, stuff, yeah. Social media and things like yeah. that. I can't control. I can only control how I feel. And and there's days where I'm good, and there's days where uh, I, I I can totally just block it out. But there are days. Uh, yes, Lindy, you are correct. My wife is smart. I listen to her a lot. Trust me. <laughs> it may not sound like it on Facebook sometimes, but I really do listen to her. Yeah. Um. Uh. It's it's. That's me. That's I I think that's what upsets me more is. I know what's going on, at least to a little bit of a knowledge that yeah. I know they did their best. They're, they're trying to pull out. They're trying to get this done, this done, this done, this done within a timeline. And we all know in, in, in any, any veteran, any military person watching this will know no plan goes according the way you plan it. Exactly. Nothing is going to go. There is always going to be something that throws a wrench into your system. And I get it. And that goes, that so goes back think, to... That goes back to, um, you know, we used to do op reports. You have to have a, your, your main mission and then secondary mission just in case that main mission doesn't um, go according to plan. And you, you drop it down different lines of, hey, if this goes awry, this, we have to do this. If this goes awry, we have to do this. But as long as you accomplish the mission, it happens. So um, yeah, I got to segue into what she was thinking. What, what you're feeling. Of course, um, every veteran might be feeling the same way, as in a lot of weight on your shoulders, heavy heart, emotions, and your mentality is going crazy because you don't know if you're feeling angry, depressed, sad, all these other emotions. Good segue for it. This past two weeks have done a lot for veterans than any VA um, counselor, chaplain, psychiatrist, psychologist, um, anything that the um, debriefing from coming back from a, um, a deployment. These past two weeks have done more to us veterans, bringing us back down to being human than any counselor or chaplain or psychiatrist can ever do. And that's a good thing, even though it is sad and you feel overwhelmed, but it's a good thing. And the greatest thing about it is that we're back to being human, not these weapons, these instruments of war. Now we're starting to think about everything from our buddies to the left and the right, um, what's going on in the world. We starting to care more because, you know, these um, social media and and all of this other stuff, everybody gets online, they say whatever the hell they want to say, want to do whatever the hell they want to do, pass information, even though it's not true, become rude to people that normally, if they see you face to face, they're not rude to. Now we're yeah. into, now everybody needs to talk. And right. like you said, you just admitted that, hey, you're, you're feeling this, this wave of stuff. And the best thing, and you saw my post, my last post that I um, spoke yeah. out about, vocalize it. See a friend. See somebody left and right of you. If, you. if you have to message them, say, hey, can we meet up or can I call you? The hell with this messaging, computing, yeah. all this other stuff. See somebody face to face. Talk to them. Right now, yeah, we are absolutely. at that point where we're humans now. And I'm loving this moment, even though it's a terrible moment, but I'm loving this moment because I'm seeing all my brothers and sisters become human again, instead of, you know, ah, we got to attack and all stuff. We're starting to worry more about people now. Yeah, I agree at 100%. There's no, I think, and, and, and you, again, um, you nailed it. It's, it's like, how do... How do we go or how are we going to cope with it now? And, and you nailed it. And, and you posted something the other day that that made me feel really good. Uh, and, and you talked about getting away like we talked about already to get away from it, get away from it for however long, whatever you need. Take a break, 
get yeah. away from social media, get away from the uh, get away from the news, get just just get away because you're going <clears throat> when you feel the way you feel like I feel things are going to be said, you're going to blow up and you're going to do the things that we all try not to do. Yeah. Um, and I think I think that's what you again, I, uh, this is opinionated. I think 99% of what you see on social media posts is just people acting with emotion. Yeah. Acting with emotion and, and, and malice at times than with actual thought. And they need, if they would take a step back, then they'll see it from a clear your mind. Okay. You're going to see it. You're going to see a thousand posts a day, folks on social media. You yeah. want to see it. Somebody's going to say something you don't like. Step away from it. Don't immediately go to that. And then I know it's hard. Yeah. I know it's hard. But don't immediately attack or, or go to that comment. Take a step back. Think about the person that said it, where they're coming from. You might agree with them in a minute. Yeah. Or once you take a step back, you can talk to that person in a, in a, in a different manner. Yeah. And that way you're not fighting about something that maybe you both really feel passionate about, but it just came across wrong on, yeah. on social media. So that, that I, man, that was, that was, and I know people said it, but that day, it was like that day and that moment when I saw you post that, it was boom, man, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And, and like my wife has said, she's right. She's a smart woman. Like Lindy said, and I agree. It's it's time. And I know people feel everything about this and yeah. they're going to say, and, and I don't and, and I don't want you to say what you want to say. I really want you to say what you want to say, but think about people you're talking to. And that goes yeah. on both sides. That's the people making the post and that's the people responding to the pro uh, yeah. uh the post. Yeah. It, Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. No, you're fine. You're fine. Um usually, you know, and you hit it on that is that um when somebody posts something the person that's reading it is reading with their emotions not what the person other other person might mean um and that's why i say take a break because you can read something so simple but because the way you read it and how you perceiving how that person what you think their attitude is and we in the mil we boys in the military you know how many times somebody is like oh you have an attitude when you actually don't yeah um nope it's diff It's now like the same, kind of like the same thing, but different at the same time in social yeah. media. If somebody posts something, somebody's going to get offended by it, and they're going to read it the way they think that you're um, like throwing it out there. You're, and then they get angry, and then they attack. They're in that attack mode. They're on a warrior mode. Hey, I, ne I need to respond back, blah, 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 blah. Um, but... My goal right here, especially since the past two weeks have passed and we got the events that um, that are happening, um, for just tell people just to step back from the internet, step back from the memes and, and everybody else's polls, step back from the news media and take a breath, think about it, get online and talk to somebody that you think that you can talk to. Me? You, somebody who's probably in Texas or North Dakota <laughs> and, and what do you call it, Japan, Korea, even if you have to video call them, just talk to them. It's, it's human nature for us to see each other, line of sight, to see me seeing your expressions, you seeing my expressions, so we know if we're paying attention, what, the, what do we mean, what we say you know, sharing yeah. information, all this other stuff. I'm tired of the 22. I know you're tired of the 22. I'm tired of 22. I Last time I um, was at a funeral was last year. Yeah. And it was a guy that was, um, I was very young, younger than me, former troop. I'm tired yeah. of the 22. But I just want people to know that, hey, step back. Find somebody to talk to. If it's not me, it might be Hooper. If it's not Hooper, yeah. look for somebody. Send a message. Absolutely. Say, hey, are you free like, to talk? Sure, call me. Or, hey, yeah. I'm free at this day. 
Where do you want to meet up at? Talk to each other. Do something. We just can't hold this in, which if you hold too much in, you're going to blow up. And if you blow up, you're going to do it with the wrong person. And it's just like Ross, my, my buddy Ross there said, the VA has, has meetings that you can go to. Ladies and gentlemen, he, I mean, like he said, we're, we're tired of the 22. Um, go, and, and I've said this in, in previous shows. I've said this on Facebook. You can always, always, always contact me. You know how to get a hold of me. You know where I reside 99% of my time. <laughs> um, and, and, and you can talk to Tyshawn. And, and, and I have many, many veterans on my page. I have many people on my page that are good at talking with people. My sister uh, Peyton is watching. She's good at talking with people. Uh, just talk to them. Don't think you're alone. You're never alone. I'm here. I'm here right now. Tyshawn is here right now. So talk to somebody if you're feeling it. It's, man. Uh, yeah, but back to, I, I think a lot of people just, it's the fear of the unknown. It's the yeah. fear of they don't know what's going to happen now. So now I need someone to blame. Now I need uh i need i need to blame it on this party or this specific person i need to uh i need to blame somebody and that's not the way it is yeah ladies and gentlemen i guarantee you we don't know what was said behind closed doors yeah not a one of us unless you're in the know and you know and you're posting it then you're opsec and i'm gonna have you butt later but um, <laughs> nobody in the know or uh, us are in the know of what was supposed to be going down. I get it. You're upset. Things didn't go honky dory. They didn't go the way they planned. I get it. I understand that. We're frustrated. But trust is a hard thing to do. Even in the military, we had to trust. May not have been hard. May have been it may have been harder. It may not have been hard to trust, but they're doing what they need to do to get them out. Now, I can't, we can't account for Billy bad guy sitting outside the gate ready to do what he's going to do. We, we can own, we're as vigilant as we 100, 100% can be. It happens. And I'm not, I'm not uh, taking it lightly of what happened to, our Marines and soldiers and airmen and, and, and sailors and everything that happened over there. I'm not taking that lightly. They did their job and I'm sorry that that happened, but don't blame somebody for them. Not, I don't know. If I'm, don't making, blame. If I'm making any, if I'm making any sense, don't just, blame. just don't blame. Yeah. Just don't blame. Yeah, don't blame anybody that it didn't go perfect. Generally. Nothing goes perfect. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional, folks. That's good. Um, That's a good thing. Yeah. Absolutely. And I love you too, Peg. I saw your I saw your thing. I love you. Um the good thing is is I believe the last plane is out of Afghanistan and everybody has been evacuated. And that was the latest I heard this afternoon. Um, so that's a good thing. And hopefully um, one way or another, I don't want to say it's behind us, but we can look for different avenues and different approaches of how to handle this and, and and again like i said i don't think anybody's upset that we're out of there i don't think anybody anybody anywhere wants us to still be in there yeah um so maybe there's now another way to um go about it i guess yeah there's always going to be another way to handle a mission but you have to think about the people first and we have to look to our soldiers, um, our support groups, and make sure everything is good and kosher. Um, 
that's another chapter that we just close in a way. Um, but we got to look for new horizons and hopefully nothing bad happens in the future. We cannot predict the future. Um, as long as there's differences in opinions, differences in um, beliefs, there's always going to be something. Um, like I said, we are all here for each other. We should be here for each other. Um, if I can't help you, I'll try to point you into the direction of somebody who can um, help you. Um, same thing, I know you, Hooper. Um, you try to help everybody that you can, but if you can't help anybody, point them in a different direction. And that goes for everybody who is watching, people who is not watching, just spread the word that we all here for each other. Um, like I said, I'm tired of the 22. Um, been tired of funerals for a long time. Um, and be kind, be good. It's all fun and games with the with the internet and all that stuff. I laugh at posts. I have fun. Sometimes I throw my tidbits in there. It's all fun and games, but don't take things too seriously on social media because there are people who are going to exploit it. Yeah, agreed. Wow, beautiful show. I know. Beautiful man yeah, with the great hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, brother, um, let's do it again. Let's do something. Let's come up with another one. Um, yeah. I, I, I always enjoy spending my time talking with you. We, but we've always, from the day I've met you, we've always had wonderful talks. So I appreciate you 100%. Minus, um, minus that time that um, we played football at Rose State before work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, yeah, that was – that was a wonderful time. Um, we, we had oh, a yeah. good time there. I'm not going to say anything. Um, but, uh, yeah, let's do another show. Let me know. Um, always, we can do whatever we want. I'm, I always appreciate the good talks. Um, yes. But I want to thank everybody that came out tonight um, to see Tyshawn and myself. Um, we love you. If we don't say it enough, we love you. We love you very much. All you veterans, all you wonderful people who are in the world we love each and every one of you i guarantee it not one of us wants anything bad to happen to any of you so just remember um and i'm going to uh and i'm, I'm going to leave you on for this one because we're gonna we're, i'm just going to sign off here in just a second but um remember what i say every show every show and and Tyshawn just said it take care of one another love one another and I'll see you next week and you if give a closing words. Close words. Hmm. Um, hopefully I'll see my ugly face later on. Um, I'm always here for each and every one of y'all. If I can't be there, I will point you in the right direction. Um, if you see me in person, I accept hugs. So, um, <laughs> but I do love you guys. Um, believe in something always believe in something and um just talk be kosher yep. be kind just talk and right. we'll close that out right there good night my brother i love you i will see you soon we'll do another show all right good night guys love you guys good night love you again take care of yourselves and i'll see